what is up y'all my name is nisha and i'm back with another video being about my father's business y'all see the title of this video i have another word for y'all from the lord i do have to say this make sure you all test the spirit not every word i release is for everyone okay so do not just take on a word always make sure you go to god and see if this word is for you okay um, most words should serve as confirmation for you to what God has already spoken to you about, but God has been speaking. Okay. And I'm here with another word. I do have a lot of notes, so we're going to try to get through this. I did pray before I started this video. So let me just find my notes so we can get into this word. Okay, y'all, so this word comes from a dream that God gave me on September the 28th, I believe. If that's not correct, y'all, I'm going to um, put the date on the screen of when I had this dream. I'm going to read the dream, and then I'm going to give you guys the revelation that God gave me. He also gave me scripture regarding this dream as well, y'all. So, I had a dream that me, my kids, and my granny was in her car, and we was homeless. And we didn't know where to go or what to do. I looked at my granny face and she was thinking and looking straight ahead. It saddened me, but then we came up to this house that reminded me of the old home my mom had that I grew up in, but it was newer in the dream. I knew the home was our family home because in my dream, it had a silver truck parked outside of it. And I knew it was my truck. And it was dark outside. And we was all in the car with my granny. And she drove up the driveway of this home. And that's when all of a sudden something clicked in me. I recognized that we was not homeless. That this home belonged to us. And the garage automatically opened to this home. And when the garage opened inside of it the door that leads you from the garage into the house was wide open and i remember thinking in my dream like yes we will be able to sleep in a bed so we got out the car and went into the house through the garage door okay so that is the end of the dream y'all so now I'm going to get into the revelation that God gave me regarding this dream. So the title of this video is, The Door is Open. It's Time to Act. You're Not Stuck. Crystal Clear Path. Okay? So let me first get into how God confirmed that um, I was supposed to release this word. So God spoke to me, It's Time to Act. Okay? He spoke to me, it's time to act. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I believe he spoke to me after I woke up from this dream that it's time to act. Oh my goodness, Lord. Okay, and I'm like, okay, Lord, um, I need confirmation. Um, I'm like, okay, Lord, let me see that. Like, let me see it's time to act. Um, and that will be my confirmation that you want me to release the dream. And like I said, I had this dream on September 28th. Um, and I feel like God is just now giving me the confirmation to release it. Um, so y'all, it's this Christian artist that I'm subscribed to on YouTube. She's a Christian artist. She's a singer. So sometimes she make community posts where she, um, posts a scripture and she, you know, gives a message. Okay. And so she gave a message, y'all, a long message. Within that message, y'all, she said, it's time to act. Within that message, she said, it's time to act. I'm like, wow, okay, Lord. Okay, so, first part of this dream. I was in the car with my granny. Now, let me tell y'all how God speaks to me in dreams. When God puts my granny in a dream, my granny signifies God. My granny signifies Holy Spirit. You can say Holy Spirit or God, okay? My granny signifies God, okay? That's who... Um, and he just always have done that since he's been giving me prophetic dreams. He has put my granny in there when he's signifying that it's him. So my granny represents God, okay? And in real life, y'all, my granny is saved, um, but she signifies him. 
So in the first part of this dream, I was in a car with my granny. She was in the driver's seat. Um, so me being in the car with her signifies me being on this ride with God. Okay, so um, so we have been on we have been on this ride with God. We have been allowing Him to take us to basically direct our paths, okay, to take us where He has ordained for us to be or to take us through what he has ordained for us to go through, okay? So we've been on this ride with God. Okay, our life is surrendered to him, and we have been allowing him to be the driver in our life, okay? But now God has driven us to this point where, because no, notice in the first part of the dream, I said that I was homeless. We were all in the car with my granny, with God, and we were homeless. So God has taken us to this point. God has driven us to this point to where we feel stuck and stagnant, okay? We don't know where, which way to turn, which way to go. We feel stuck and we feel stagnant. So me being homeless in this dream and being in this car and being homeless in this dream signifies that we're at this point in our walk with God where now our back is against the wall. Now we feel like we have ran out of resources. You know, now we feel like we're in this position to where um, we need a miracle. It's going to have to take the hand of God to get us out of this position that we're in. Okay, so we feel like we're in a position where we feel stuck and we're feel, we're feeling stagnant. Okay, so that's what me being homeless in the dream signifies. The feelings of being stuck and stagnant, okay? Okay. Okay, with no way to turn and no direction. Because in the in the part of my dream, in my dream, um, I was homeless in the car and I was like, I was looking for like where to go. Like I didn't know where to go. I didn't know where to turn in the dream, Okay the dream my grandma was looking straight ahead okay in the dream when i looked at her i was sitting in the passenger seat i looked at my grandma and she was looking straight ahead okay it looked like in my dream i perceived her to be thinking um but she was looking straight ahead the whole time like the whole entire time she was looking straight ahead so the revelation that god gave me in regards to that is while i was in the passenger seat you know um taking this direction or allowing God to be the driver I was in this position feeling like feeling stuck and feeling stagnant and feeling like why well, I don't know which way to go whole time my grandma which signifies God is looking straight ahead he's looking in the direction that I needed to look in I needed to look straight ahead I needed to keep my eyes focused on where God is taking me okay I needed to keep my eyes focused in the same direction where God is taking me, the same direction where he was looking. God is looking straight ahead, okay? He's not looking at our past. He's not looking at what we did yesterday. He's not looking at uh, what we've been through two years ago, a year ago. He's not looking at that. He was looking straight ahead. My grandma was looking straight ahead, which signifies God, okay? So, so my grandma was looking straight ahead in the direction that I needed to look because that is when I saw this home and it looked familiar to me, but it was newer. Okay, so I looked, so in my dream, my grandma um came up to this home and the when I looked at the home, y'all, it looked at like um the house that I grew up in, that my mom had, that I grew up in, um but it looked newer. So with this part of the dream, what God is saying is that um, what he had for you, you will know that it's for you, okay? You will know that it's for you, okay? It's nothing that you had before, but you will know that it's yours. It will be familiar to you. It, you will know that, okay, this is the direction that God is calling me to go in, Okay? So the home in my dream looked familiar to me, but it was newer. Next part of this dream was, um, as my granny was taking us, or God, y'all could just say God. I'm gonna have to replace my granny and say God, y'all. I'm sorry, because in my dream, my grandma signifies God. Okay, so for the next part of my dream, y'all, so as God was driving me and my kids up to this home, I noticed a silver truck parked outside of the home. Okay, so the revelation that God gave me regarding this silver truck was the silver truck signifies that God will make your pathway or your instructions crystal clear. 
okay? So when we think about a vehicle, when we think about a car, a truck, or whatever, when we think about a vehicle, it's meant to transport us to places, to different places, okay? Or in different directions, okay? When God was giving me this revelation, y'all, and when I thought about the color of this car, because I'm like, Lord, why the color of this car have to be silver? And when I said that, when I began to ask God questions about the color of this truck, y'all, immediately what came to me was crystal clear. Straight like that, y'all, crystal clear. We know that a crystal can be many colors, y'all, but when I think about a crystal, I'm thinking about the color silver. I'm thinking, okay, silver, like silver crystals okay that's what i'm thinking about so a vehicle when we think about a vehicle it's meant to transport us it's meant to, to take us in different directions or um to different places okay and so it being silver in my dream meant that god is going to make the um make our instructions because we are in this place i'm i promise y'all it's going to make sense I'm going to pull all together because many of us are in this place where we feel weary, where we feel stuck. We feel stagnant. We don't know which way to go. We don't know which way to turn. Lord, where is you sending me? Is you sending me in this direction? And we feel stuck. And God is saying that he's going to make our directions. He's going to make um, the instructions crystal clear. He's going to give you clear instructions. Okay. There's, oh Lord, hold on. I'm going to jump ahead of myself. Okay, so that is what the silver truck signifies in this dream, that God is going to make your instructions crystal clear, okay, and your direction crystal clear. The next revelation, my, my grandma drove up the driveway, or God, God drove up the driveway of this home, and something clicked in me. I recognized that we was not homeless, and that this home belonged to us. Okay, so in my dream, I told y'all that we came, God drove us, was driving us up to this house, and the silver truck was outside. When I looked at that silver truck, I knew that it was my truck, and it was parked in front of this home. When I looked at the home, it looked it familiar to me, and mind you, I said that we was homeless, okay? In the car, in my dream, I knew that we was homeless, but when we drove up the driveway of this home... It clicked and I recognized we was not homeless. So me and my dream recognizing that I was not homeless. Um, this is God saying that you're not stuck. Okay? You're not stuck. Everything is about to unfold. Okay? God is about to unfold everything. He is saying you are not stuck. He is saying you will no longer be confused. You won't be confused about where he is sending you or where you're moving to. You won't be confused about who's for you, who's not for you, um, who your spouse is, if you're supposed to take a certain job or not. If You won't be confused about which way to go, which direction to turn, okay? So he is giving you crystal, uh, he is giving you a crystal clear path, okay? So God is removing the confusion, Okay, so this goes back to the silver truck. Something is just going to click within you. Your eyes will become open and you will begin to recognize the signs that God has been putting in front of you. It will all make sense, okay? And you're going to know what's for you. It will start to unfold, y'all. It will all make sense. You will no longer be confused. Okay, now the next part of this dream my granny pulled into the driveway, and when she pulled into the driveway, the garage door automatically opened, okay? Y'all, it's just multiple words in this. It's multiple words. Okay, the garage door automatically opened for us. We didn't have a garage opener or any type of key, and when the garage door opened, inside of the garage, the other door from the garage to the house was wide open we didn't need a key to get in god was the key the doors were already open both doors were opened automatically so this is the part of the word where it's titled it's time to act so god is saying it's time to act the doors are already open the garage door in my dream was open and the door that leads from the garage to the house was already open. 
we just had to walk through those doors. So in my dream, me, my kids, and my granny, we got out the car and we walked in those doors. Um, and I'm going to explain that part, like walking through the door, what that can look like further in this video. So keep watching. Okay, so God had me look up the word automatically. Automatically, this is the definition of automatically. With reference to a device or a process by itself with a little or no direct human control. Okay, so God was in the driver's seat. He drove me directly to the promise. He drove me and my kids to our open doors. There was little or no human control because we was just in the car and we didn't have any keys. God made it happen without us having the keys, okay? Meaning, you don't have the qualifications, you don't have the income, you may not have the degree. All you need and ever needed was God. He is the key to getting to your open doors. All you need to do is act. This is where this part of the word comes in. It's time to act. When you see the door is open, you need to walk through it. And that walk can look different for everyone. Okay, y'all. So God is saying through this dream, God is saying multiple different things. Because in my dream, I was homeless. In my dream, what homeless signifies was being stuck and being stagnant, okay? Being lost, confused, stuck, stagnant, lack of resources, all of that, okay? So God is saying, he knows that you feel stuck, you feel stagnant, but he is saying, you're not stuck, the doors are open. You are not stuck. You may feel this way because you don't see anything around you. You don't see anything in the physical happening. But God is waiting on you to act. It's time. God is saying it's time to act, okay? You're not stuck. You're not stuck and stagnant. You think you are stuck, but you're not stuck or stagnant. God is saying the doors have already been opened. The doors are open. You just have to act. He is saying that he will be he will be removing the confusion. Some of us have been confusing ourselves. Some of us have been second guessing the confirmation that God has already given us. We have been second guessing the um the signs God has already shown us. Okay? Some of us have been making ourselves stuck because we have been um um, maybe not ignoring the signs God has been giving us, but we have just not been um, having faith in those signs. We haven't had faith in those signs. God has been giving us the signs. God has been giving us the instructions. Okay? But now he's saying, since you're still questioning it, you may be still questioning like, Lord, am I supposed to go here? Lord, am I? Now he's finna, he's finna throw it in your face. Okay, he's going to make it crystal clear. He's going to make the directions, the instructions crystal clear so that you know. Okay, because the doors are already open. They're just waiting for you to walk through it. Okay, that walk can look different for everyone. Your open door could be a job, but that job is just waiting for you to apply to it. Your open door could be a home. That home is available to you. The door is open. It's just waiting for you to apply for it. That open door can be a business, but it's just waiting for you to write the plan or to get you a mentor, okay? I hope this word makes sense, y'all. Sometimes it's hard for me to release the word in the order that I need to release it in. When God gives me a word, y'all, it be making sense to me. It be hitting to me, y'all. And it makes sense in my notes how I write it down. But then when I go to release the word, that's when it gets hard. But hopefully y'all understand this. Hopefully it made sense. The silver truck in my dream signify that God is going to make your pathway crystal clear. Okay, so your instructions will begin to... God is going to um, remove the confusion from you. God has just given me clarity, y'all, on things that he's asking me to do because i'm like lord where which way do you want me to go with this like i don't know which way you want me to go and can i tell you y'all just recently like god has been putting it in my face back to back so that is a way that god is going to make your that that is a way that god is going to clear the confusion okay 
He's going to remove the confusion from you and the doubts, okay? Because you're like, Lord, is I'm really going here? Are you really sending me here? And this word have a lot to do with moving, y'all. This is what God had me realize. Sometimes on our walk with God, we can make our walk harder than what it really is. You know, like we don't see anything. You know, God gives us the words of encouragement. And he gives us the reassurance and all of that. But it's like, we okay, we don't see anything. So we can be in this position to where, or be we can be in this mindset or be in this emotional state to where we feel stuck. We feel stagnant. We feel like nothing is happening for us or nothing is going to like, like things just look so impossible. Okay. I'm trying to put this in a good way, y'all. Like sometimes we make ourselves sad because we be overthinking. We be thinking like nothing is moving, nothing. And God is like, whole time, you don't even know what I'm doing. Like you don't know that tomorrow I can send, um, I can send your destiny helper to you. I can send a destiny helper to you tomorrow and you don't even know it at this specific time. There's a specific time for everything, okay? And God is probably looking down on us like, you're really crying right now, my child. Like, you're crying. You're, like, beating yourself up. You're going through it. And you don't know that, like, tomorrow or two days from now, you are about to receive an email that's about to change the trajectory of your life. You're crying at 2 p.m., and by 5 p.m., you're about to get a life-changing phone call, and you don't even know it. Like, so God just gave me this realization um, as I was... As God was giving me the revelation, in, you know, with this word, it's like some of my children and I can include myself, y'all, I can include myself on this. Like we've been making ourselves feel some type of way. We've been making it harder on ourselves, even more harder on ourselves because we don't know what's around the corner. We don't know what God is doing around the corner. And God is looking down like my child your life is literally finna change in like another week or so just hold on and that's oh my goodness lord that song y'all y'all know that old school song i have been seeing that song back to back y'all the last time i listened to that song was three years ago i've been on my walk with god for three years at the beginning of my walk with god the very beginning of my walk with god this is how i know y'all it is so close your life changing event that's about to occur it is super close god gave me this song um three years ago when i first got saved and this is when he was calling me to move okay from my hometown this is when he first was calling me to move from my hometown um to a whole new state that i didn't know anything about and he gave me this song um because at the time which is so crazy, y'all. At the time, I was homeless at that time. I didn't have a place of my own. And God gave me this song, Hold On Just a Little While Longer. It's like, hold on just a little while longer. Everything is gonna be all right. Y'all cannot sing. I can't sing, y'all. God gave me that song three years ago. And he brought that song back to me recently, three years later literally three years later y'all um the song it just popped up it just popped up and i seen it back to back like it was just popping up y'all now let me get into the scripture y'all because the scripture will confirm all of that hey first let me say i've been seeing the number 717 back to back constantly and i have not i've seen it before i, I will say i've seen it last year i've seen it before but now God has been showing me this number constantly, constantly back to back. So I looked at the number 717 in the Strong's Concordance and it means to gather. And I'm like, okay, Lord, it means to gather, to pluck up. And I'm like, think, I'm like, Lord, to gather, gather, what is gather? And immediately harvest, the word harvest came to me. So I looked up the definition of harvest. And the definition of harvest is the process or period of gathering in crops. And a synonym of harvest is gather, is to gather, y'all. So I'm like, okay, Lord, it's the harvest time. It's the harvest season, okay? It's harvest time, okay? And then God gave me Isaiah 60, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 
19 through 22. And he confirmed this scripture to me because there was another lady in Christ um, um, who posted this scripture and she was like, uh, this is your confirmation scripture. And she posted Isaiah 60 verse 22. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I already had that written down, y'all. So Isaiah chapter 60, verse 19 through 22 says, The sun shall be no more your light by day, nor for brightness shall the moon give you light. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Your sun shall no more go down nor your moon withdraw itself. For the Lord will be your everlasting light and your days of mourning shall be ended. Your people shall all be righteous. They shall possess, they shall possess the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands that I might be glorified. The least one shall become a clan and the smallest one a mighty nation. I am the Lord. In its time, I will hasten it. Or I think the version that I read on my phone, y'all, was when the time is right, I will make it happen. When the time is right, I will make it happen. So that's the scripture God gave me. Now I'm going to get into the revelation of that scripture. For some of you, your mindset is in a place of you need to see something in order to have hope or faith. Like you're like, Lord, I need you to, to do something for me to, to hope or have faith that something is happening. Like I need to see something and just give me a little piece of something. So I can, um, so my faith can be increased or so that I can have hope because I'm getting weary and I'm thinking about giving up. The sun shall be no more your light by day. And we know the sun gives us light. We know that, okay, when the sun comes up, we know that it's daytime. So the revelation that God gave me regarding the scripture is some of you feel like you're in this place where you feel like, Lord, I need to see something. Like I need to see something i need to see you move just a little bit like give me just a little bit of the promise just so i can have faith so god strategically put you in this position where you feel stuck so that when he sends you into your promised land and you run into issues you will never have to go to god and be like lord let me just see a little bit of it let me just see something so i know that you're moving because you have been in such a low state physically you know in the natural and god brought you out of that so now your faith has been elevated now your faith has been increased to the point where oh baby you don't care like you you know god is gonna come through you know god is gonna show up because when your back was against the wall, when you was in that position where you felt stuck, you felt stagnant and couldn't move, you knew God brought you out. So that is why God is being so strategic with allowing us to sit in this position where we feel stuck and we feel stagnant because it's a part of his plan because the sun will no more be our light by day. We won't be looking for the sun or looking for uh, we won't be looking for the sun to give us our light. We won't be, or we won't be looking for, Lord, show me a little bit. Like we won't be looking, be, looking for movement in the natural. We will fully be walking in the spirit. We will be able to fully walk by faith and not by sight. We will be able to fully walk by the spirit, by what God has said and not by lord just show me a little bit okay because right now some of us is like lord i need to see something i'm getting weary i need to see it but once god bring you out of this rut once god bring you out of this your faith is going to be made so strong okay so the the sun will no more be your light god will be your everlasting light okay so you will be able to just lay everything at his feet with no worry at all you won't have to worry about it. So that is what God is saying, y'all. That's why he gave me this scripture. Okay, and he is saying when the time is right, he will make it happen. It will happen fast, okay? And what came to me was Amos 
9, uh, Amos chapter 9, verse 13 through 15, okay? If everything is going to happen fast, your head will swim. One thing on the heels of the other. It's so fast that you won't be able to keep up, okay? Everything will happen quickly. That is it for this word. I pray that this word has blessed you. God is saying that the door is open. You just have to walk through it, okay? You just have to act. It's time to act. And he is about to make your path way clear. Okay? Some of you, God is calling you to move. And you're like, Lord, I don't know where you want me to move to. You've been praying like, Lord, where do I move to? Pay attention to them signs, okay? He's putting it in your face. Because he just recently confirmed to me what he's having me to do. And he's been throwing it in my face, y'all, constantly. I'm like, okay, Lord, I can't question you on it no more. You're not stuck, okay? It may seem as though as you're stuck, you're not stuck, okay? You just have to act. You have to start. You have to walk through the door. God is waiting on you to walk through the door. The door is wide open. Go put in those applications. It's time to act. Go put in those applications. Go submit your business proposal, whoever that's for. Go submit your, you probably um, came across an investor. Go submit your business proposal. Um, Call that place that you need to call. Go put in that job application for whoever been praying to God about a job. The door is open. It's wide open. Okay? You don't need the key to it. You don't need the qualifications. You don't need the money, the income. You don't need all of that. All you need is God. God is the key. The door was already open in my dream. The door was already open. Both doors. Okay? So, just act. Just act. Whoever that word is for. But, okay, y'all, I promise. I'm done. I'm out. I just thank God. All glory goes to God, y'all. Because I am nobody without him. All glory goes to God for encouraging us with these words. And I pray y'all have a blessed day. Make sure y'all subscribe and join the family and hit the notifications bell so you can get notified whenever there's a new word. And I'll see y'all in the next video.